This story is very characteristic for Zen. That's just the beginning. We are only concerned at this moment about as asymptotic complexity for the present moment. Each of these great teachers taught the same doctrines. So if the problem definition changes on you, you still have a starting point to go attack the second version of the problem. Okay. Monsters. These are, these are beautiful. Until somebody comes up with something that's different. I don't know. Trust me. We'll get to that later. And get killed. Okay. Huh? No, so. Okay, no, so. Are you okay, Dr. Love? <laughs> Simply doing nothing. Life will be magical, abundant, full of possibilities. What could be better? To forgive myself. We have a new emotional perspective. And uh, this is part of algorithmic thinking. Um, you want to be able to create algorithms that are general. Enchantment like that is the oldest form of medicine. I'm washed up on a beach. Flight from the soul, and therefore from the transcendent task of meaning. It is not an event, but a process. Yet, we don't give up. <laughs> what is the problem here? So you're talking about worst case. That's, you're being very paranoid. And so underneath all of that, we need to realize there's a dialogue necessary with what we call the unconscious. Meeting congenial companion. But it all happened outside of my reason. And then I just have to keep following it. On its deeper level. Yo, yes. And the asymptotic complexity of this algorithm is linear. All right? That makes sense? In time, I realized that these were more satisfying because they consciously employ metaphor and symbol to point in the direction of mystery. But bottom line, 